Hello everybody and welcome back to Harvestella with me Dark Mazda for Dark Mazda series gaming. In the last episode we finished off the first, our first season of spring and then we left the episode when Quietus had descended upon our farm. So we're going to have a look around the farm and see what's what um, in Quietus. Um, the place looked absolutely beautiful and I like the theme tune that was playing in the background but we didn't um, have a look at anything so anyway we're going to continue from that point now and just see what the hell is going on so let's go so here we are um, at Bird's Eye Bray our farm and we are looking around our farm during quietus so everything else seems to be the same um, let's have a look Woolen feed. Right, we've got all all of our all of our makers seem to make things, so that's handy. Uh, what's this? Withered crops. Okay, so I guess we get to wither, pick up the withered crops. Any others? Oh, that must be it. Oh, looks like our tree survives. Curious. So what can we do with these? Earn you a little money when shipped. So they're not useful. Okay. So this, let's put these away. Woolen feed and cluff owl feed. Let's pop over here and see what these do then. Oh, we've got three eggs. We can put the feed in, but I think they stay in during these times. Three milk. Yep. So I guess we should um, preload our makers again. So is it grass and wheat? I'll just leave that for now. Let's go and take a look around. See what's what. Oh, there's a light over there. Let's go and have a look over there. Oh, look, this well. You see a light shine at the bottom of the well. Go down the well. Oh, so we can go down the well now. Oh, let's have a look then. Why not? Oh, passed out. Where am I? Girl, you are inside the world, inside my memories. Oh, that seems a bit strange. Oh, it's her again. Your body remains in the well, sleeping soundly. Only your consciousness was carried here. It was I who called you. 
I wanted to meet you, you who exist in my unknown. Why did you want to meet me? I guess we've got to go over there. I want you to show me why you were chosen. I will be waiting for you inside. The path ahead is filled with danger, but you will surely get by with the help of your friends. Your friends will support you if you want them to, since I will be there on the other side of those hardships. I'll see you there, Erika. Okay. She's very vague whenever she speaks to us. I just have to want their help? With my friends? Uh, where am I? But I was just... Erica, did you do this? So you're telling me a strange girl brings you here if you go near the well? Now why would anyone do that? She wants us to go deeper. Well then, there's only one thing we can do. Believe every word of what she said and follow after her. There's no point in thinking about these things when it'd be faster to just find her and ask her directly. Anyway, let's get going. Alright. Let's leave the well. Let's do a little bit of fishing. Can we get any special fish in here? Let's see if we can catch a couple at least. Venin clam. This suspicious shellfish lives underground. Despite its menacing name, it doesn't contain any venom. It naturally filters and purifies the water, giving it the nickname the janitor. Well, let's get one more. Or oh, see if we can f fish up something else. Yeah, so we've got another one. Well, that's fine. Well, let's see what this does. Pig inside the well. Why not? Goes deeper. Continue. Yeah, we'll do that. Fall there. First floor. Alright, okay. Do we have to look in these? Let's pig inside. Goes deeper, continue. Well, why not? Seems to be a lot of wells, I mean... Do we need to just look in these and... Let's peek inside. There seems to be something inside. You've got pyro liquid. Alright, okay. So you can get items from them as well. Or we might as well search them all then. Peek inside. Enemies leap out. Alright. Right, so enemies and items can drop. Enemies leap out. Right. Oh.
Philosopher's Stone. And a Chaos Gem. Hmm. Lovely. There seems to be something inside. So we've got another Chaos Gem. So what are these Chaos Gems? Let's have a look. Chaos Powder. Can't be used in this state. A powder that holds the power of quietus within. Could be useful if you found a way to remove the quietus from it. Philosopher's Stone. Used to fortify weapons. And then we've got a Chaos Gem. Can't be used in this state. An ore that holds the power of quietus. Oh, okay. I'll have the stir fry at hand, just in case. Goes deeper. Yeah, let's go deeper then. wonder how many floors are per... Per these areas. Is there any way to tell wells apart? Like which ones? Well, that one's brighter. That one's dark. That one's bright. We'll try the. We'll try the bright one, and then we'll go for the dark ones. Goes deeper. Continue. Okay. Might as well. Deeper the better, right? That thing is terrifying. Curiosity will be the death of us. Level 37. No, we can't tackle that. We shouldn't tackle it either. Peek inside here. Not just yet. I want to just check some of the others. Seems to be something inside. Well, we've got a Chaos Gem. We'll go deeper. Man, that was level 37, so that was quite hard, considering. These look like tough enemies that we should really avoid. Right, so we fought those. And you found a Conalu doll. Right. Let's open the treasure. Three Chaos Gems. And three Chaos Powders. And what's this? Activate Mortar Shrine. You activated the fifth floor Mortar's Monolite. Oh, great. Let's see if we can go any further then. Goes deeper, continue, why not? So we're on the sixth floor now. Just in case we need some food, we'll put the tomato juice on standby. There seems to be something inside. Pyro liquid. Lovely.
goes deeper. Well, why not? Jump in. Just seems to be two wells. The dark one and the light one. So if we go for the light one. Goes deeper. I think the light ones take you deeper. So. Could be something to note. There's a fishing spot here. Should we try and fish? Big circular area. Well, we'll try this well. Enemies leap out. What level are the enemies? Earth, Philosopher's Stone, and a Chaos Gem. We've got quite a lot of Chaos Gems. Seems to be something inside. Stella wheat seeds. Lovely. Doesn't seem to be anything left. Let's continue. I think this is the last one. Goes deeper. Yep, let's go. I have a feeling we can't defeat this one. Oh, these are gonna be hard for us to deal with. There are loads of them. Look at them all. Level 37s. I think we're going to have to just run for it. Goes deeper. Yep, we're not fighting any of these. Let's get out of there. What? This looks like it's the end of this section. May need to um, be careful with this. Get rid of the ads. I think we managed to just scrape that one. 
Not too bad. Not too shabby. Worried a little bit there. Let's get the treasure. Chaos Cleaner recipe. Ah, oh, lovely. Star Crystal 5. Activated the 10th floor Mortis Monolite. Let's take a, a peek inside. Goes deeper. Um, no, let's not. Let's leave it there for now. So I think it's going to be too too hard for us, that. Well, earned your money. So that's cool. We've got pyro liquids. Polluted earth. Can't be used in this state. Right, so we've got plenty that we can... Um, Yeah, let's return home because we want to look around the rest of the farm right we've got a recipe as well didn't we oh so we can make one of these well let's make a chaos cleaner Should we make two? Install this machine on your farm to purify materials that have stored the power of quietness within them. Hmm. The shipping box is going to be getting some star crystals and also some withered crops. Let's put a Chaos Gem in there, and a one in there as well. Should we move all of our makers over to one side? I guess we can't really do it now. Oh, we feel sleepy. We're taking too long to do things. Let's take a look over here. Nothing else unnatural thus far. About the rest of the farm.
try the hilltop. There's some bits and bobs here, isn't there? Sections over here. No, is it here? There's nothing out here, really, is there? Feel very sleepy. Right, let's drop everything in the box that we don't need. And I guess that's it for now. Let's go to bed. So we've leveled up, we made a little bit of money, oh now we're on summer, summer breeze day one. Go and see if Lilia managed to make it right. Gather 200 times. I guess we'll see which seeds we've got. Spring and summer. Spring, summer. Uh, let's have a look. Grows in summer and fall. Spring, summer and fall cave crop. So we haven't got a cave yet, I don't think. Right, let's take 12 of these. Spring and summer. We'll take those. And we'll take some tomatoes as well, I guess. Let's just take them all for now. We want the grass. And we want... And we want the wheat as well. So we want to evenly, like, take spread everything out. Pick out, up everything else. Cosmo gem. Let's see what Cosmo gems are. Used in crafting to fortify weapons. This ore is a chaos gem that has had the quietest effect removed from it. It emits a mystical glow. Right. Intriguing. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, let's put those away. See what the other ones do. Polluted Earth. Well, we'll have a go at that. And we'll try some chaos. We'll try some chaos powder. Polluted Earth. Chaos powder. Right, we're gonna need to toil the soil.
and that's all of that. Let's get um, two grass on the go as well. Put these tomatoes here. Because we want to focus on the new crops. Get everything ploughed. What else do we have? The paprika. Right, that's them sorted. Put them into storage. Right, what do we need? We need some grass and we need some wheat. We'll go and pick up all of our other stuff as well. Well, here's the mail. New summer products, general store owner. Dear Erica, the season of dry, hot sun is upon us. How will you spend your summer? We are pleased to announce new items for sale. Crop seeds that can be planted in summer. Buy now while stocks last. The general store owner. How's this for a good idea? From Todd. Our micellia and hers have finally decided on a date to tie the knot. I'll be lonely, sure, but as her brother, I want to congratulate her on a new start in life. And so, I decided to build them both a new home in Chateaula. I haven't told them yet, but this kind of work is right up my alley. A house is no big deal. I'm going to build a home filled with my love for these two. From Todd. Will we meet again? From Ike. I was able to make up with my mom and dad, all because of that omen, but I haven't been able to thank them. I thought about asking you, Erica, but I'd really like to tell them myself. I'm sure they already left the Jade Forest, but I'll leave a letter at the place we used to play together in case they come back. I won't go alone, of course. I hope we can meet again one day. Right. That's everybody wanted to issue their thanks for my help. Right. First things first. Can I have a snack now? Let's get everything brewing. Got no materials to put in there. Right, so we need some a vegetable or something to put 
to go along. Oh. Right, now we need to water our crops. This may take some time. That's all them watered. Right, let's head to the town. Let's see bye bye. what new things that the shop owner has in store. He sent word saying that he has new items, so let's go and explore. So there is a marker over at the mayor's house by the looks of it. Just double check which food items we need to make for this fella. Might be able to make some of them next time. Ch chilled corn soup. Left special dinner. Moroccan seeds. Ooh. Dress letters, Stella wheat. A grape saplin. We'll leave it for now because we've got plenty of crops. We don't need to um, buy any more just yet. What is it we needed to do for the mayor? Oh, it's you, Erica. Thank you for your help earlier. I truly appreciate it. Did you make it back in time? I made it just in time. I was cutting it close, though. Either way, they still got mad at me. I'm glad it was you who helped me. I received some very sad news, but at the same time, something good came of it too. Yeah, you made a new friend. And she's my old pal's granddaughter too. Fate works in mysterious ways. Oh, while you're here, I was thinking of asking you if you would continue writing in my place in case anything happened to me. If I die, would you keep in contact with that girl for me? Why so ominous all of a sudden? Ho ho ho, relax. 
I'm just playing with you. I ain't kicking the bucket any time soon. The mayor's pen pal complete. So we've got some money. Uh, I right, that recipe and a picnic sandwich. Lovely. Let's move that off our items list so that we don't accidentally use it. Because those things happen, you know. Right, so what have we got to do then? Meet with Assel at the entrance to Heaven's Egg. Wait for the next letter from Estina to arrive. And the letter from Cress. So. She who wants to see the sea. Give the seashell to Sheri in Namir. Go and see if Lilia arrived in Namir. Okay, so there's a lot of things to do in Namir. So we'll head over towards them. Let's head over to Namir and finish off a couple of the quests that are here. Excuse me, do you know a man named Jade? Hmm, no, sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh, hi, Erica. You're in the mirror. Were you asking about Jade? Yes. Since I came to Namir, I've been asking around for him every chance I get. Well, so far, no one has seen him. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm not ready to give up though. Even if it turns out to be pointless in the end, I still want to know I did everything I could to find him. Besides, it's better for me to stay busy. Excuse me there. Yes? Are you looking for a Jade? Yes I am. I was just looking after a man named Jade at my house. He might be the person you're looking for. Really? Where, where is he? Hmm, I think he said he was going to the observation deck. Thanks. Ah, oh, wait, you should know something. It's important. She's probably got amnesia, right? I can tell her if you don't mind. Don't worry about that. Just stop her. She might get a terrible surprise if she finds him. Please go on ahead to the observation deck. I'll be right behind you. You're curious about what she had to say, but for now, just try and catch up to Lilia. Okay. Well, here we go. While we're here, we'll give that sea shelter... Sherry. Hey, you're back. Did you find a shell? Found the perfect one for you. Can't wait to see. You give the shell to Sherry. This shell? What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... You see this pendant? I've had it since I was a kid. It looks just like the shell I brought. It's not like I could just go and pick it up myself. 
I've never even been to Shatola. So how did you get it? I don't know. To be honest, I've no idea when or where I got this pendant. Pendant. If someone gave it to me, I don't know who it was. So it was from Shatola then. You know how I said that I wanted to go to the beach because it was a dream of mine? That wasn't the real reason. The real reason I wanted to go to the beach was to look for another shell like the one in my pendant. I wanted to get some kind of clue where it came from. What a coincidence I found the same one. Yeah, but I'm kind of disappointed you found it so easily. I've always thought it was special and I was never going to part with it. That's why I wanted to know how I even got it in the first place. Anyway, sorry I went off on a tangent. Hope you find out how you got it. Well, I'm one step closer now, thanks to you. At least now, I know it's from Shatola. Thank you for everything, Traveller. I'm going home now. That was my end of the deal. My parents are going to be so angry with me. I better go and apologise. See you later. I'll write you a letter if I find out anything else about the shell. So that's that one complete as well. A thousand, some straw buddy seeds and three eggs. I've got eggs galore now. To start selling some things. Lilia, did you find him? Finally found you. Sorry. I missed you, Jade. I've been looking for you all this time. Jade? Who are you? Huh? What's going on? He's got amnesia, man. What does he mean, who am I? I'm Jade, but I don't know who you are. What do you mean? I finally caught up to you. What happened to him? It looks like I'm too late. Is this what you were trying to tell us? Listen carefully, you two. He's amnesic. Amnesic, but how? He says it's an after effect of a big accident he was in. Oh, the accident did this to him. I might have met you two before I lost my memory. But I really don't remember you at all now. Sorry. Jade. All I remember is my name and that I was in some kind of horrible accident. And that I was supposed to come to Namir for some reason. I don't remember why though. I'm sorry. Still, I'm just glad that Jade is alive. I'm sorry Lilia. I'm fine. What am I going to do now, though? Erica, let's call it a day. I need to go away and process everything that just happened. Jade is probably in shock from all this, too. I'll write you a letter if I need your help again. But for now, I need to figure out what to do next. I'm here whenever you need help. Thank you too, ma'am. Sorry you had to run all this way after us. No problem. Seems like a complicated issue, so I'll be here to help too. Thank you. Well, see you later. The consequences of escape. Some more money and Numblemon sapling and roly-poly prawn. I think we're going to need a bigger farm.
So where are we heading now then? Well, it looks as though we're going to be heading to Heaven's Egg um, in order to meet up with Asil. Just have enough time to have a quick look around. Thank you for coming, Erica. Shall we get moving? We need to try and find some clue as to what's going on. I get the feeling that we might find something in the heaven's egg. Look! It's a dragon. So they've been coming outside again. Do you think it's here to stop us? We should kill it quickly. It's not doing anything. I don't suppose it's just popping out for a breath of fresh air. Nope, they've come to see you, Assel, because uh, Tiella um, is probably living on in the spirit of the dragons. Is it running away? Yeah, I don't think it has any desire to fight us at all. If anything, I feel like it might be inviting us to follow it. What do you think we should do, Erica? Let's go after it. Why not? All right might lead us to some sort of clue there's going to be danger no matter what option we choose we should follow it looks like the dragon went deep into the heaven's egg well in that case well, let's go all the way in There's nothing here. We'll just look on the map for some quest markers. Right, so... We have got question marks everywhere. Investigation points. Doesn't look like any quest markers here though. So let's teleport to the, the next one. No, nothing to hear either. So, must have been the next area, the first area. Typical, we should have just started from the beginning to start with. Nothing here either.
Right, let's start from the beginning and we'll just run through. See, see what that um, does for us. Don't think we're going to find what we're looking for by just um, checking out the map. No, I don't think it's here either. We've looked looked around. Not sure where to find it. We'll have a look around here and see what we can find here.
probably behind one of these areas that we kind of get through. I don't risk it just yet with the time getting on. Try the entrance again. The monsters in Heaven Egg grow more active um, to the point that they even start coming outside. Asshole responds to the villagers' growing concerns and decides to go directly to Heaven's Egg to investigate. He asks Erica to cooperate. Follow the dragon deeper into the heaven's egg. Right, well, we'll run through this on another day because it's going to take too long to do otherwise. Um, yeah, we need to go back home at the moment because the time is getting on. recipe didn't we let's have a look at this chili plant Morocco have a sweet fish oh well, let's uh, try and make this then. Dusted in flour and then steamed in the oven, prepared with wild leaf to neutralise the fishy smell. Land skill, stamina down at level 1. Okay. Cheese maker level 2 recipe. It's coming next.
check the letter from Cress. See you later. Oh, we've got quite a few letters coming. First things first, though. Oh, smoked egg, star sand, cosmo powder. Right, we'll have to look at all this. Oh, smoked egg. Earned your money when shipped. Used in crafting and to fortify weapons. All right. Got a lot of stuff to put in the makers then. First things first, let's put away this hard skin. And let's um, see what the star sand makes us. Keep this. Get the letter in a moment. No rush. Let's put another egg in there. Why not? And let's water all of these crops. some letters I need your help again this is from Estina sorry for always calling on you but I'm hoping you'll come and speak with me again it isn't about being head teacher this time but I'd still like your advice please meet me at the Nord Step this time not the orphanage I'll explain why in person I'll be waiting this one's pretty urgent from Cress. Thanks to you, the mare's back healed in no time. As it turns out, cinnamon sticks are pretty effective in treating lower back pain. And while I'm on the topic, I have another request. I need to discuss this one with you first. So would you mind coming to the clinic when you have the time? It's important. 
Would you come with me? And this is from Cherie. Thank you for listening to me earlier. I think I've finally taken that step closer to knowing what I want to know, but we're still not finished. Why was there a shell in Shatola that looked just like my pendant? I have to know. Please make me near the observation deck in the mirror when you have the time. I have so many favours that I can't ask of anyone else. Even though we can't see them again, this is from Sarah. I exchanged letters with the mayor for the first time, not as grandpa, but as myself. He's a little strange and kind of embarrassing, but I find it easier to talk to him when I can't see him. That connection grew stronger this way, even though my grandpa is no longer with us. So I decided to start writing to my friends who moved away, because I now know people should maintain these connections we have with one another. Thank goodness I didn't give up, Shirin. Thank you again for finding Berg. Not only you, but Cress and Lai too. So many people have come to our rescue, but now's not the time to get complacent. I will continue to wait until Berg opens his eyes again. Erica, I hope you will come and check in on him when you have the time. Perhaps talking to him will help him regain his consciousness. So we've got a lot more quests that need to be filled. Um, yeah, let's go and figure out what needs to be done now. First things first though, we'll put everything we don't need in the box. Um, hardstone, one of those, two eggs, blah blah. Um, I think that's alright. Oh, might as well chuck the cotton feather in the box. So while we're at Leth, we'll upgrade our farm again, I guess. the farm size why not please come again I want the clinic for the next quest Hi Erica, I take it you read my letter then. Yeah, you said you wanted to talk to me. That's right, I want to tell you about something. I was thinking, it's about time I told you what my research is all about. I've been wondering about that. You've really been such a great help to me. It's not fair of me to just keep receiving favours from you and keep hiding it from you. So I'm not going to keep it a secret anymore. I'm trying to find a treatment for a certain illness. The Quiet. It doesn't have an official name yet, so that's what I'm calling it for now. Why The Quiet? You know that dust that swirls around in the air during quietness? The Quiet is the sickness you'll get from inhaling it. Once it sets in, progresses quickly, it attracts the immune system, attacks the immune system and inhibits healing, soon leading to death. Remember the first time I examined you, I said the dust would affect your health. I was talking about the quiet. Does that mean I have the quiet too? Like I said at the time, you were fine for some reason. Can't be explained by current medicine. Thought you might have some special immunity, so I studied you, but... 
I couldn't find any related antibodies. When did you study me? I took it upon myself. Sorry, you came in for quite a few checkups, so I just did it then. I'm just really determined to find a cure for the quiet. It's the best tribute I could pay to mom and dad. So the disease that took your parents... Yeah, you guessed it. It was the quiet that took my parents away. They were originally the ones researching the quiet. So I decided to follow their path and continue their research. I see. My mom was the first one to show symptoms of the quiet. I was still a kid, so I didn't know it was so serious at the time. First she couldn't stand on her own, and before I knew it, she was bedridden. But apart from being bedridden, she seemed normal, so I thought it wasn't too serious and she would get better. And even if not, I thought Dad could just cure her like he always did. But it didn't work out that way. Yeah. The quiet stole her away, bit by bit. The warmth of her embrace, the kindness in her eyes, the love in her voice, all taken from her by that illness. Dad tried everything to save her, but in the end, there was nothing he could do for her. That's when he gave up trying to find a cure. He must have been heartbroken. That's probably it. He died not long after Mum did of the same disease. The irony, losing your life to the very disease you were trying to cure. Doctors can't cure everything. Those were his last words. I wonder what he meant by that. To this day, I still don't know what his intention was leaving us with those words. Maybe he said it knowing that I would become a doctor just like him and Mum. But I'm not just going to accept what he said. I'm not a kid anymore. I know doctors can't cure everything. But that doesn't mean we should just accept it and stop trying. That's why I won't ever give up. No matter how long it takes, I will find the cure. And put an end to the disease that stole away my parents. Sorry, I got carried away. I was just planning to fill you in on my research, but I went off on a bit of a tangent. I'll help in any way you can. I can, sorry. Erica. Thank you. I think I've told you everything now. Thank you for lending an ear. Thank you for sharing that with me. Talking to you has really lifted a weight off my shoulders. It's true what they say, you shouldn't bottle things up. Now, shall we call it a day? I'll write to you, I'll write to you again when something else comes up. You'll be helping me out a lot more now that you're involved in my research. I hope you're ready for that. So close ones with Cress is almost halfway up now. Two pyro liquids. She likes giving us pyro liquids. So that's our friendship with Cress increased. So there is another quest marker at that house. So we'll head there now. Sounds like boss music. Erica, you you have to come quick. 
It's Berg, he... Did something happen? Now I can't find him anywhere. I went to his house to see how he was doing, but it was completely empty. He didn't even leave a note. What do you think I should do? We have to go and look for him. Be alright. Please help me find Berg. Waiting for the day. He couldn't have gotten very far. We may be able to learn more if we ask around the village. Let's go. Looking for Berg? Wish I could help, but I haven't seen him around. Heard he was sleeping all this time. Did he finally wake up? He did. Went to check on him this morning, but the house was completely empty. Sorry to hear that, Shirin. I'm afraid we haven't seen hide nor hair of him. Thank you anyway. Sorry for bothering you. Hope you find him soon. If we see or hear anything, then we'll let you know right away. Please do. Another dead end. Nobody's seen Berg anywhere. Where on earth could he have gone? Do you think he's left the village? If he left, then I will too. I'll scour the entire planet searching for him if I must. Uh, Shirin? Oh yes. I heard you were searching for Berg. Did you see him? You have to tell me where. I saw him heading towards the Jade Forest early this morning. So he did leave the village. But something wasn't right. He looked like something was really eating him up inside. Don't know what it could have been, but you need to find him quick. Be the ring we found before. Off that monster. We will. Thank you for your help. Go on, Erica. We need to get to the Jade Forest. Leave the monsters to me. Thank you. My life is in your hands. Wait for me, Berg. I won't let you leave me behind again. Right, so we're looking for Berg in the Jade Forest. Let's do that now. It's right close to us. So where are we looking at? The usual spot. Oh, you know. Berg, I finally found you. Shirin? Why did you disappear? I was so worried. But that's not important right now. Come on, let's get back to Leth. You haven't fully recovered yet, and if a monster finds us... I'm sorry, Shirin. I cannot return to Leth. Huh? Why not? 
But what, what are you saying? Why won't you come back? Why would you say that? Because I don't deserve you. What does that, that mean? I heard from the people at the village about what happened after I left. You waited for me all that time. I did. I waited for you for so long. They told me to quit waiting, that I was just wasting my time. They told me so often, but I knew you would return to me, Berg. And that is why you deserve better. Berg? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for stealing that time away from you. Sorry I couldn't protect you. I want you to forget about me. It's for the best. For the best? I can't believe you would say this to me now. Shirin? You know what? Do whatever the hell you like. Go wherever the hell you like. And I'll forget about you. Just like you asked. You're the worst. Why did you say that to her? There are so many men out there who are more deserving of her. I just want her to be happy and I think this is the best way to make sure of that. You should discuss this with Shirin. There's no point in that now. She knew you'd come back to her. She doesn't think you stole her time. But I... You really want things to end like this? You truly care about her, rethink this. You're right, I'll talk to her. Though there's a good chance she won't take me back after everything I said. You definitely need to apologise. To go back to Leth, she's probably still at my house. Weird. Right. Shirin, it's me. I need to talk to you. Would you come out, please? There's nothing to talk about. I want to apologise for what I said. You don't have to talk right this second, but when you're feeling ready to listen, I'd like you to meet me at our spot. Berg already left. Oh, Erica. I'm sorry, would you go after him? Tell him not to bother waiting. I just know he'll sit out there forever otherwise. I think you should go, though. Sorry, but I have no intention of going. You'll find Berg at the Nord Step on an arched path. You'll know it when you see it. Anyway, thanks. Oh, a lot more waiting about. Well, funnily enough, we need to go to the Nord Step anyway. Hope we can get there about the right time.
not going to make it up there in time. What's this here? Erica, you made it. Thanks for coming all the way out here. I guess you wanted some privacy. Oh, you caught on. That's right. I didn't want the kids overhearing this. about a troubling rumour that I've been hearing recently. Apparently someone has been going around senselessly attacking people in a nearby village. There haven't been any fatalities yet, but the person doing it is elusive and appears unexpectedly. Victims say that she's a lady with long hair dressed all in black. She calls herself the Shadow Assassin. Isn't that you? Don't tell me, copycat. Please, that's not even funny. Let me just put this out there before we continue. This whole thing has nothing to do with me. The person doing this is just using my name. Who would do such a thing? I have no idea. Although I hope that that's all it is. The thing that bothers me the most is that she's not only using my name, but my likeness as well. If she knows who I am, then given what she's doing, it's probably a stunt to lure me out. But that's impossible. They don't know where I am. I haven't heard anything from them all this time. What could they want now? Who are they? Ah... Uh, Sorry, forget I said that. The truth is, I still don't know who's behind all this. But I can't just let it go on. It can't be by coincidence that she chose the name Shadow Assassin. So Erica, could you help me find the person doing this? If we leave her to continue, she might come and attack Nemea next. I don't want anyone at the orphanage getting in danger. It's the only thing I must not allow to happen. I won't let anything interrupt the children's peace and happiness. Of course I'll help. Thank you. For now I'm going to go away and gather some more information. I'll get back to you as soon as I find anything out. go so let's see if we can fight these guys and get this chest over here I think we should be able to this one is strong well shall we begin that was a good workout Well, shall we just get the back to the walk in the park? 
Simple pierce proof ring. Lovely. What's in here? Wind raid of feather. Alright, let's see what. Um... Can't change accessories. Right, got yet. Um, let's look at the jobs. Shadow Walker. Got a new skill here. Shadow Standard. Unleash our power and increase hit rate temporarily. Still looking for where this dragon went. We'll have a look through here.
We're better off avoiding it. This one looks strong. Ah. We'll go to sleep. <laughs> Don't want to pass out. Right, we have leveled up again, which is nice. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode, though. See how our farm's grown. Put everything in the box. Quite a lot to put in the box. Let's see how the farm's expanded. Oh, we've got a section over here now. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, so we'll save it there. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode of Harvest Stella. Thank you very much for joining me. I have had some broadband issues lately, so my upload schedule for my videos has not been on track. Um, the upload speed um, has took a nose dive, and the videos aren't uploading as quickly as they should be. So hopefully I'm going to have that all sorted and um, the upload schedule is going to be back to normal. Um, you know, by this episode even airs, that will be a distant memory anyway. So thank you very much for joining me on this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a like and a sub if you have. And until next time, guys, that's it from me. And I will see you on the flip side.